So I'm just off an incident with a muskie. I'd actually tied up some uh, Terminator swim jigs with a blade on the back. And the first cast with my first one, I lost to a big toothy critter. So I had another one already pre-rigged, so I ran to the tackle box, tied it up. Second cast, I got another muskie. It might have been the same one. It didn't have the other one. I thought that would have been really cool if I'd been able to bring in the other one with the jig in its mouth, but I didn't. Um, but it did gnarl up my line, and it just reminded me of a really cool tip. Um, so I'm gonna just take my scissors here. Those are so convenient sitting right there. My line to the side and trim off the end. Tying a Palomar knot is the best knot you can tie. Easy, strong, for braid. But a lot of people tend to tie it either incorrectly or not as easily as what it can be. So a lot of people will try to double up that line and try to get it through the eye. It's not so bad in a jig, but when you have some of the smaller eyes, it makes it really difficult. So what I do, I just put the line through, take out a good section here, turn it back around, and put it back through the eye again. Now you've got it doubled up and it's super easy. Then just give yourself lots of line there. Make your overhand loop. Through there. Put your jig through. And then this loop that's down at the bottom, just stick your finger in there. Then when you tighten it up, you can actually see that. It tightens right up on the line. And now it slides straight down. That way your polymer knot will always be tied perfectly. You won't have any bunching. Grab my scissors here again. Trim off that tag end. I like to leave a little bit, but I'm not too worried. These knots don't slide. And then the last little bit, put my scissors back. I always have a great big Sharpie, and anytime I'm doing a knot, I just always make sure I color up my line a little bit. These are great because it's got a huge end on it. And you just color it up. Just turn the jig a little bit and you get all the sides. And then you can touch up the knot as well, those tag ends. And the really cool thing that I've learned is uh, Sharpie works really, really well on tungsten and on lead. In this case, I had a scar from that fish on the back. I just touched it up unbelievable how in the water that the sharpie sticks to both tungsten and lead like that but it's a cool little uh, added bonus so I just always keep that in the boat and now I've got my palomar knot tied I've got a nice little leader on it and a black color and I'm ready to catch another muskie <laughs>